Hey, what's up YouTube and welcome. Welcome back to another Tiny Walnuts Collection Overview video. I have plans for a couple more videos of the Collection Overview variety. After I show my Criterion movies, I'm going to also show my Kino Lorber titles and my Twilight Time titles. Just to put some videos up on the channel. I'm trying to grow a little bit. so. Um, I have shown this video before in the past. It's been a couple of years since I did an overview for the Criterion Collection. I think I have maybe 1,500 new subs in those last two years, so there's probably a lot of people who haven't seen this one yet. So let's go kick back and uh, relax and let's take a look and see what I have in my Criterion Collection. Okay, so for the collection, I have these two full shelves and then a couple box sets and a couple of additions there in the third shelf. Um, I'm very proud of this collection, even though it's not the biggest Criterion collection you'll see. I do have a decent amount, and I still have quite a few on my wish list or my want list that I want to pick up. But I do have these in order by spine number. So these are not going to be in alphabetical order. These are going to be in spine number. So as always, if you guys want to chime in and give some suggestions or let me know which ones you like that I have, it's always good to hear from you guys below. So the first one is spine number two. And this is the Blu-ray of Kurosawa's Seven Samurai movie from 1954. The next one is spine number three. And this is the Blu-ray of Alfred Hitchcock's The Lady Vanishes from 1938. And spine number seven is called A Night to Remember and this is a, a movie about the Titanic sinking. This was one of the earliest renditions of the movie of the Titanic. This one is from 1958. It's pretty good. I liked it. Next one is spine number 10. This one's called The Walkabout or just Walkabout. A movie from 1971. And unfortunately as I had mentioned before in previous videos there was some kind of a manufacturing glitch for this particular movie. Uh, I've owned this movie now about three or four different times because I you would get to a point in the movie where it would kind of freeze up and it wouldn't Continue in the movie, so I returned it got a new one returned it got a new one and it kept having the same problem So unfortunately, I never got a chance to finish this movie, but it was very good from what I watched And at some point I hope somebody else puts it out or maybe they have already by now and I can pick that up and check it out Just to finish the movie Spine number 11, this is Ingmar Bergman's The Seventh Seal. It's a movie from 1957. Spine number 13, this is The Silence of the Lambs. Movie from 1991, comes in this kind of digipack, which I'm not the biggest fan of the digipack movies from Criterion. I prefer the plastic cases. The next one is Spine number 14, 15, and 16, and this is the Samurai Trilogy. Next one is spine number 19, Samuel Fuller picture called Shock Corridor. Spine number 24 called High and Low. The majority of these movies I picked up on the 50% off sales that they have quite a bit. This is spine number 29. This was a really good movie. I enjoyed it. It's called Picnic at Hanging Rock. It's kind of Twilight Zone-esque. It's kind of a mystery, missing persons mystery. Next one is spine number 30, and this is Fritz Lang's M, starring Peter Lorre 
from 1931. Next one is spy number 43, and that is Lord of the Flies. This is the 1963 version of the film. They had since remade it in the 90s, I think. Next one is another Kurosawa twin billing called Yojimbo and Sanjuro. And these are spines number 52 and 53. Nice little set. Next one is another Hitchcock picture. This is called The 39 Steps from 1935. Some good horror. It's called Carnival of Souls from 1962, and this is spine number 63. Criterion has a really good variety of genres of films, and they put a lot of care and effort into their transfers and packaging. This is the original The Blob from 1958, spine number 91, and they remade this movie in 88, 1988, 30 years after the original. This is the one with Steve McQueen. This movie was visually stunning to me. I thought it was beautiful, called Black Narcissus. And this is number 93. And the movie came out in 1947. It's beautiful. Next one's called The Hidden Fortress, another Kurosawa movie. You're gonna see a lot of Kurosawa and a lot of Hitchcock in, the, in this collection. This is spine number 116. Here's a, I believe this is a Dutch movie called The Vanishing. And I think the Dutch title was called Spore Loose or something like that. This was very good. It was, this was another very chilling, had a very cryptic ending to it. I, I really recommend watching this one. It's from 1988. And then here was the DVD, which is long out of print. Spine number 133. This one's called Haxon from 1922. Spine number 134. It's kind of a documentary about witchcraft. And then this, this was the DVD, which is out of print, called Haxon. Witchcraft Through the Ages. The same movie, just the DVD edition of it. Spine number 135, another Alfred Hitchcock picture called Rebecca from 1940. Hitchcock again, Notorious, 1946. Spine number 137. Kurosawa's Rashomon from 1950. Spine number 38. This one is Traffic from the year 2000, and it's spine number 151. This is a Russian kind of a sci-fi picture called Solaris from 1972, spine number 164. I got this DVD at a thrift shop one time for a couple bucks, like two or three bucks. This is Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. This is the DVD fat pack. Spine number 175. I was very happy to find that. I'd like to upgrade that at some point. This one is Thorn of Blood, another Kurosawa picture from 1957. Spine number 190. You got it, another Kurosawa. This one's called Akiru. This one is from 1952 and spine number 221. I thought I had picked up Videodrome on Blu-ray, but I couldn't find it unless I put it in a different uh, area of my house. But this is the DVD version of Cronenberg's Videodrome, and this is a really nice packaging. 248. If you, when you open it up, it looks like a VHS tape. It's pretty sweet. Good movie too. Here's another Kurosawa movie called Kajamusha. And this is from 1980, spine number 267. Sword of Doom, 1966, spine number 280. Kobayashi's Harakiri, 
from 1962, spine number 302. And notice that there's a lot of Asian cinema. It's really good, good stuff. Next one is called Ron. This is the DVD from Kurosawa. This one's out of print. Spine number 316, this one's still sealed. I think I found that in an FYE one time. Next one here is called Dazed and Confused. It took me a while, but I finally have come around and I do enjoy this movie. First couple of times I watched it, I didn't really care too much for it, but it has grown on me. And I, I know in the past I have kind of poo-pooed this movie, but I do enjoy it. So from 1993, Richard Linklater's Dazed and Confused. Let's see what spine number, that's number 336. There's another fat pack DVD called Equinox. There's two different versions of the film in here. This is number 338. This was a film project from, I couldn't remember if it was high school students or college students who made a movie with a, like a shoestring budget. Um, and they have that edition of the movie on here. And then later they cleaned it up. Uh, they had a bigger budget. I think somebody remade it with the, how the story goes. Somebody remade it and it's actually a pretty good kind of a creature feature horror movie. And you can see both of the versions on that. Next one is a little box set. I, I really like this one. <clears throat> it's called Monsters and Mad Men. You get four chilling tales of inner torrents, inner torments from outer space. You get First Man Into Space, Corridors of Blood, uh, The Atomic Submarine, and what is the fourth one? Haunted Strangler. So you get, uh, it's a four disc set. And these are numbers 365, 366, 367, and 368 on the spine. It's a cool little set. Let's see if I can get this in here. All right. So we have Sancho the Bailiff from 1954. This is spine number 386. Ace in the Hole from 1951. I enjoyed this movie quite a bit. Billy Wilder picture, number 396. It also has a chilling ending to it. I thought I had upgraded this one too, but I will at some point. This is Tulane Blacktop from 1971. Spine number 414 comes with a pretty thick book on the inside there. And the last one for this shelf is the Blu-ray edition of Vampire, Carl Theodore Dreyer's Vampire from 1932. And again, you get a pretty nice sized book with your movie. And it's a pretty good movie too, I enjoy it. German horror from the silent era. So I'm gonna pause it here and we'll get into the second shelf. So moving right along, I have the DVD box set of Vampire as well which I think is beautiful and I'll never, I'll never sell it. I very, very rarely get rid of doubles, even if it's an upgrade. I'm a collector, that's what I do, I collect stuff. But this is the Vampire box set on DVD. It has the book and the movie, it's very, very good. If you've never seen Vampire, I definitely recommend checking it out. Another one I thought was very good. This is Byron Haskins' Robinson Crusoe on Mars. And this is a good little sci-fi picture from 1964. I really liked it. And this is spine number 404. And kind of recently I picked this one up at a thrift shop too. I think I got this for two bucks. This one's called Magnificent Obsession. I don't really know anything about the movie, but I know it's Criterion and it's highly collectible. It came with a two-disc set. It comes with the booklet for two bucks. That was a no-brainer. I grabbed it. From 1954 and it's my number 457. There's a John Ford movie, Stagecoach from 1939. Spine number 516. 
Terence Malick, The Thin Red Line from 1998, spine number 536. This is the Japanese, I guess it's kind of a horror picture. A lot of people uh, have recommended this over the years just for the wackiness, I guess, of it. I have still have yet to see it, but I will. I'll, I'll definitely watch it. A lot of people have recommended it to me. So this is House from 1977. Spine number 539. Here's a Lars von Trier movie called Antichrist. I didn't really care too much for this one. It's from 2009. Um, spine number 542. It has Willem Dafoe in it, and even though he's a fellow Wisconsinite, I live in Wisconsin too, and he's from Wisconsin. I'm just never been the biggest Willem Dafoe fan. This one I thought was excellent. This is Stanley Kubrick's The Killing from 1956. This is an excellent movie. It's by number 575. It's a money heist movie. Here is another Hitchcock. No, this isn't Hitchcock. I was thinking of The Lodger. This is uh, The Phantom Carriage um, from 1921. And I think this might be, is this a Swedish film? Yeah, this is a Swedish silent horror film from 1921. And it's spine number 579. All right. This one was very good. It's called Island of Lost Souls. It's kind of an Island of Dr. Moreau movie. Um, this is the very early one. The very earliest one, I believe, from 1932, starring Charles Lawton and Bella Lugosi. And it's spine number 586. This is a very, very good movie. Creepy. Here is spine number 594. This is Godzilla. And they still haven't made a good release of the Godzilla movies yet. I, I don't like this packaging at all. Uh, I do love the movie. This is the movie from 1954. And later they came out with the Godzilla box set that it's even much worse than this one. So that's a shame. Next one is called Three Outlaw Samurai. And this is a movie from 1964. It's by number 596. Another movie that's very overrated in my opinion. And that's Rosemary's Baby from 1968. Spine number 630. One of the most overrated movies you'll ever see, I think, in my opinion. Here's a Hitchcock. This is uh, The Man Who Knew Too Much. And this is from 1934. Spine number 643. Another Terrence Malick movie called Badlands. And this is based on a true story about a killing spree. The movie came out in 1973. And this is a take on the Charles Starkweather killing spree from the 1950s. I thought it was a very good movie. Next one is Repo Man from 1984. Spine number 654. Spine number 656 is Jubal. Western movie. 19, or, uh, by number 656 from 1956. And this is the original 310 to Yuma. They have since remade it in the, I think the early 2000s or so. Movie from 1957. It's by number 657. Next one is called Things to Come. This is an H.G. Wells. Um, 1936. It was directed by William Cameron Menzies. And it's uh, based on an H.G. Wells story. It's by number 660. There's a ghost story called The Uninvited. Haunted house type movie from 1944. Spine number 677. The next one is another Hitchcock movie called Foreign Correspondent. From 1940, 
spine number 696. Next one is a Wes Anderson movie called Fantastic Mr. Fox from 2009. Spine number 700. Then if you want to see John Wayne as a bad guy in a movie, then you want to get Red River. It's another Howard Hawks movie. This one's from 1948. It also has Montgomery Clift. He's kind of the young, kind of the young stud uh, gunslinger in this movie. This is spine number 709. Both guys played a great role in that movie, John Wayne and Montgomery Clift. Spy number 711 is The Beatles, A Hard Day's Night. This is excellent from 1964. Spy number 711. There's another Cronenberg movie called Scanners from 1981. And this is spy number 712. Henry Fonda stars in My Darling Clementine, directed by John Ford from 1946. Spine number 732. Don't Look Now, starring Donald Sutherland from 1973, slasher. Spine number 745. Very depressing animated movie called Watership Down from 1978. Spine 748. Ride the Pink Horse from 1947. Spine number 750. Francis Ford Coppola presents The Black Stallion, directed by Carol Ballard from 1979. Spine number 765. Another horror movie from Cronenberg. This one's called The Brood from 1979. Spy number 777. David Lynch's Mulholland Drive. Very trippy movie from 2001. Spy number 779. In Cold Blood, 1967. Spy number 781. Jellyfish Eyes from 2013. Spy number 787. Spy number 790 and 791. The Complete Lady Snowblood. You get part one. And Lady, so Lady Snowblood Love Song of Vengeance, part two. We get uh, two movies there. Spine number 825 is called A Touch of Zen, 1971. Spine number 825. Next one is called The New World, Terrence Malick, 2005. Spine number 826. McCabe and Mrs. Miller from 1971. Spine number 827. Cat People. It's a Val Luton movie from 1942. Spine number 833. Valley of the Dolls from 1967. Spine number 835. And Beyond the Valley of the Dolls. It's a Russ Meyer picture from 1970. And it's 836 on the spine. Pan's Labyrinth. Pretty good movie. I like the uh, special effects in this movie. From 2006. Spine number 838. This is a great box set right here. I think everybody should pick this up if you love Asian kind of action samurai martial arts type movies. This is Lone Wolf and Cub. This is spine number 841 and this is the whole Lone Wolf and Cub collection. So you get, let's see here, you get Sword of Vengeance, Baby Cart at the River Styx 
Baby cart to Hades, baby cart in peril, baby cart in the land of demons, and white heaven in hell. Nice little box set. And of course, pick it up when it's on 50% off. You'll get a great deal for that. Here's Kurosawa's Dreams from 1990. It's fine number 842. And the last one for the second shelf is One Eye Jacks directed by and starring Marlon Brando from 1961, spine number 844. So I'll pause it here for a moment and we'll get into the very end of the collection. Okay, so let's finish it up here. I'm gonna slide these over a little bit. So the first one is a Howard Hawks movie called His Girl Friday from 1940. And it's spine number 849. They Live by Night from 1948. And it's spine number 880. One of Hitchcock's early pictures from 1927. This one's called The Lodger from 885. Or spine number 885. I think this is a silent yeah this is a silent picture tinted black and white it says 90 minutes running time 2k restoration this one's called the lure from 2015 spine number 896 i think this is a polish horror am i wrong um let's see genre-defying horror musical mashup from Polish director. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, but it's Agnieszka. <laughs> oh, man, I'm not even going to butcher that. But uh, Night of the Living Dead in this digipack. I'm not the biggest fan of these digipacks. They don't la last very long. Of course, this is the original from 1968 that started it all. George A. Romero classic. And this is spine number 909. I watched that a couple times and it's beautiful. Here's The Princess Bride. This is a digi book. Spine number 949. This is a beautiful movie, one of my favorites of all time. And it comes with the storybook because, of course, in the movie, the grandfather is reading the storybook to his sick son who stayed home from school and in the imagination of this child who's home in bed sick comes the movie from straight from his imagination. It's a beautiful movie. Next one is another movie. I was pleasantly surprised with this one called The Grand Budapest Hotel. I thought this was very good. It's a Wes Anderson movie. And it's by number 1025. And we have Gregory Peck in The Gunfighter from 1950 and it's spine number 1053 uh, and then I have a couple of box sets here I have the Guillermo del Toro trilogy you get Kronos the Devil's Backbone and Pan's Labyrinth in this nice little box set here pretty nice so Kronos was from 1993 uh, the Devil's Backbone was 2001, and Pan's Labyrinth was 2006. It doesn't seem like they're that old already. My God, time is flying. I have the Zatuichi, the Blind Swordsman box set. This was the first box set released. This was a limited edition. It sold out, and then they have since re-released it in a different packaging. But this is the this is the big boy. I don't remember how many discs are in here. Maybe it says on the back. There's 23 films, and I think it might be 25 discs. I think there's a couple of discs with bonus materials. Um, all of the movies were filmed between 1962 and 1973. Yeah, this is a pretty good set. I really enjoy this. It's good stuff. 
And then I have the box set of Bruce Lee, his greatest hits. And this is spine number 1036. And in this set, you get the Big Boss, Fist of Fury, The Way of the Dragon, Enter the Dragon, and Game of Death. The movies he made from 1971 to 78. 4K digital restorations. So that was my Criterion collection. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and hope you, I gave you guys some suggestions. And of course, if you have any suggestions for me, you can feel free to leave those down below. I'm going to record another one tonight, I believe. I think I'll do, I may do the Twilight Time and Kino together on one video because I don't really have a whole lot of those. And I could probably fill up two shelves with both of the collections together. So I may just record one more video and combine them. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Take care. I almost forgot. So before I end this video, I wanted to show you the terrible Godzilla box set that Criterion put out a couple of years ago. This is called the Godzilla, the Showa era films from 1954 through 1975. It comes in this ridiculous long book. It's very thin. Uh, I don't know what possessed them to put this out. This has got to be one of the worst box sets I've seen any company put out. I mean, as a book, it would be fine, but not as a box set to house your movies. This is almost impossible to display. But let me say again, as a book, this would be pretty awesome if it was just strictly a book, but in the back, it's where it houses all the movies. And they, they just kind of sit in these little cardboard slots. And there's what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Blu-rays that are just kind of housed in these little cardboard slots. <clears throat> not a big fan of it it's very hard to display and I noticed that it's it kind of warps over time it just was this was not very well thought out the the engineering of this was, was pretty bad the whole thought process and planning of this was as terrible but I do like the movies and I'm glad I have the movies I just wish they came with a different box set maybe at some point if they ever put these on 4k they'll you know they'll come to their senses and put it in a regular size box set but uh, until now, we're stuck with this. So anyway, I wanted to show that before I ended the video.